Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. What's up y'all, it's your girl Jasmine and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how I do some highlights on some curly hair and then we're gonna take this hair and do a closure sew in. So this is a full uh, video tutorial from top to bottom on a closure sew in with curly hair that I have highlighted for my client. She didn't have nothing specifically that she wanted, she just said she wanted to lighten the hair up. So I, you know, just quickly did some highlights on here. And I'm going to show you like the easiest way to do some highlights on um, any type of bundles, uh, like the easiest way to do it. So as you can see, I'm lightening the hair now. I'm using a 30 developer with some quick blue bleach powder. Um, I've just taken that bundle. I've clipped it at the top. So I think it's folded into four strips. I have it clipped at the top, as you can see here. And then I'm just going to go through and pull out some sections that I'm going to actually highlight. So... The part that I'm putting up is the section that I'm not highlighting and the part that is still remaining flat on the foil is the part that I am going to put some highlights in. So um, to, you know, just lighten the hair up, I did base this hair. So I let it sit in developer for like two or three hours, like 20, a 20 developer for two or three hours just to lighten the hair up a little bit. So the base is a brown and not a black. And then I let that dry and then now I'm going in and doing some quick highlights um, very quickly. So for this type of highlighting style, I would normally highlight the top two bundles and leave the bottom bundle brown. Um, just to, you know, I, just so we don't have so much highlights going on. Um, and that's what I did. So I highlighted two of the bundles. I left one of them brown and then I did highlight the closure. And I'll show you me highlighting this closure here in just a second. And then... Um, later on in this video, I will show you all in detail how I sew down my closures. Um, my client gets these closure sew-ins back to back, okay? This is probably like her fourth or fifth one. Um, she has done like some feed in braids in between, but I mean, we do this all the time. This is her style and this is her go-to and she keep it in for about two months. Um, and yeah, it works very well for her. I mean... So for all the people that be saying, oh, the closure is so in, we taking your edges out. Oh, the closure is so in, they don't really last like that. Yeah, right, okay? My client is is living testimony that these closures, so in is really the way to go. We're not doing leave out no more. We're not gluing these closures down. We're just sewing it down and we're using a little bit of spray, like a gots to be or even spray, you know, just to keep that, that closure in place. But the sew down is the way to go. Just sew that thing down. It's too hot for glue. And I don't know if where y'all at, but in North Carolina, baby, we is touching 98 degrees. And, and not no, like, dry 98. It's humid. Okay, so we can't do the wigs, the glue. Like, we're not doing that right now. We're just not. You're either getting some braids or we're going to have some extensions. Go ahead and get you a closure because with no glue, we're not doing any adhesive <laughs> because it's going to melt. Okay, we are melting in North Carolina right now. So I'm just going to show you all how... I quickly put these highlights in um, the, the closure as well. And then like I said, if you stay tuned for the rest of this video, I will show you how I sew in this closure sew in. I have so many videos on me doing closure sew ins. I believe my technique is one of the best uh, when it comes to a closure sew in because again, I don't use adhesive. The average person, you know, that's getting a closure sew in doesn't even know what lace adhesive would do to their skin. Um, so I just don't use it. It's just, it's really not needed. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned if you're learning how to do a closure sew-in or if you want to take this method to your hairstylist so that way they can um, give you this look without using the adhesive. Again, I'm using a 30 developer with quick blue lightener. Um, I did go in with a Wella T27, which is like a natural beige blonde, just to tone it down afterwards a little bit because it was a little brassy. This hair pulled red a little bit. Um, so I tried to tone it as best as I could, but again, she just wanted some, some highlights in here. She didn't want no dark hair. So she just wanted something to lighten her face up. Um, and that's exactly what I did for her. So just stay tuned for the rest of this video. Um, you know, before I get off of here, cause y'all know, I don't like talking during the whole video. I'm just going to say I have been missing in action and I am sorry. Okay. I've been missing. I have been post. I haven't posted a video in like a month. It's been like four or five weeks and and honestly, you know, I just been living my life. I mean, it takes, you know, sometimes you got to step away. And I'm here to tell anybody who needs a break, it's okay to just take a moment for yourself. Take a moment for yourself, reorganize, reset, and then come back. 
because the work ain't gonna get done unless you do it right so you have to do the work but it's okay to take a break so i'm here to tell you if you need one go ahead and take that break because you're not gonna be useful to nobody running on e if your cup ain't filled how are you gonna fill other people's cup how are you gonna help other people if you ain't helping yourself so if you need to take a break for your own personal self do that okay the people around you will love you and understand that right now you cannot pour into someone else's cup because you need to pour into your own. So that's what I've been doing, y'all. I've really been having fun. I ain't going to lie. I've been out here living my life. I ain't been posting on Instagram. I ain't been posting on YouTube. I really have not been present. But I've been living my life, and I'm very happy um, that I've taken some time for myself. Um, I am still in works with the Pretty Lounge. If you've been keeping up with the story, we had to move out of our shop in December. Um, I miss my shop. I cried about that this week. I miss my shop, y'all. I miss my shop. The one that I had that I was in charge of, okay? <laughs> I miss my shop. But as God is preparing me for next levels, I am in a period of waiting. I'm in a period of um, taking a step back so I could take 10 steps forward. And I know I'm in this waiting period, so I'm just going to embrace it and, um, and, and wait for God to tell me that we're ready to go to the next step. I mean... You know, some stuff happening behind the scenes that I yet, still yet, could not talk about. But just pray for me. And like I say every video, y'all pray for me and I'm going to pray for y'all. Because um, I truly believe that God is the light of all of our lives. Um, and you know, your situation could always be worse than whatever it is that's going on. So be grateful. Um, be grateful. And you know, whatever little issues do come your way, whatever big problems come your way, pray and handle them with grace because it could always be worse. It could always be worse. Okay. But as usual, I appreciate you all so much for tuning into this channel. I promise I'm coming back. I really do have videos on deck. I've been filming. I just ain't been editing or posting. So I have all kind of uh, videos to get out to you all. Um, and now that, that my storage bank is, you know, getting full, it's time for me to, to drop some videos. So, um, lock back in with your girl, lock back in so you can see what's popping at the pretty lounge every Sunday at noon. And I mean it every Sunday at noon, I'm back. Okay. We're going to start dropping these videos, but I know y'all love a closure. So in, um, everybody, you know, it took me a while to learn the technique myself. So, you know, I have plenty of videos on the closure so in if you want to know more you want to see more about you know different parting and different braid patterns and the so um you could go to my extensions tutorial folder and and all of the sew-ins closure sew-ins will be there um so as usual thank you all so much for tuning in to the pretty lounge channel if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see what's popping at the pretty lounge every sunday at noon if you like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments questions concerns go ahead and drop them down in the comment box and i'll be sure to get back to you i love you all so much thank you all so much for tuning into my channel just stay tuned for the rest of this video so you can see the final look this came out great um, and again, if you um, are learning how to do a closure sew-in, take your time. It took me a long time to perfect this uh, method that I do. So take your time. It's going it, to, you know, take your time, perfect your method. And then, yeah, I'm telling you, they're going to start coming to your chair like clockwork. Because once you get the method down, baby, it's undeniable. Okay, it's undeniable. The work is undeniable. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in. Again, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and get down in that comment box. And thank you all so much for watching this video. I will see you all next week. Have a great and blessed week. And yeah, just know Jasmine K loves y'all. We love y'all over here at the Pretty Lounge. And make sure you subscribe so you can see what's popping next week at the Pretty Lounge. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.